In this week's challenge, we're going to learn to add a blog to our website or your digital portfolio. The word blog comes from web log, which was really um, sort of like an online diary. You're going to use your blog to communicate with people who come to your site about your learning. To do this, you need to create a new page in your site and call it um, Your Name Blog. So mine's Mrs. Fenton's blog. This is a special kind of page. It's not a web page. You're going to change that to an announcements page. And I'll explain that once we get in. Make sure it's at the top level and then click Create. You'll see that this page looks a little different. There's a, um, a button on this page called New Post. This is where you're going to click to create your first entry into your blog. It comes up. You should title your post. It's my first one, so I think I'll just say welcome to my new blog. And it works just like a web page. You see the cursor flashing. I can type in here. I have the tools at the top if I wanted to change something. What is a little bit different here is if I don't have time to finish it, um, I can click up at the top where it says Save Draft. After doing this, although you can see this page, other people visiting your site would not be able to see it. To continue editing your post, you just click right on the title of the page and it will bring you back to your web page where your post is. You can go ahead, finish typing, you might want to insert images or something from your drive. When you're happy with it, you just click on the save button and your post will be published. You can see that your post shows up as a subpage underneath your blog title. Every post that you create will be put under here. To go back and add a new post, you click on the navigation bar to get back to your blog page and you'll see the button there, New Post. Click on that and you can go through the steps again. I think my second post will be about the Grow a Greater Google site because I'd like to share what I've been doing. Again, I could click Save Draft if I wasn't finished, but I am finished this post, so I'm going to press the blue button, Save, and this will publish it to my blog. You can now see I have two posts underneath my blog. The newer post will push the older one down, and that will keep on happening as you add posts to your blog. I hope this tutorial has helped you to add the blog to your website. I look forward to reading all about your learning.